What's going on, guys? It is your motivation guy. Come on, that's right. Your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. I am back. I want to encourage you guys to be great, not only in this game, but also in life. If you fall down, if you make mistakes, don't worry. Get back up. Get back up because all the successful people, they get back up. I believe in you. Go get it. I'm sure everyone watching this has done box fights, right? And if you have, you know how important it is, man, to know a bunch of different angles and peaks to use, you know, in order to just outplay your opponents, especially guys, if you're going against someone really, really good. You know, you can't just simply outbuild them or even out aim them. And that's why in this video, we're gonna be going over a bunch of different techniques that involve abusing angles and right hand peaks so you can get an edge in your box fights, okay? But before we get started, ladies and gentlemen, it's about that time we gotta do the question of of the day. All right, what do you think Fortnite is gonna look like in five years? Personally, maybe some Keith Allen skins running around, I don't know. But anyways, let me know what you guys think. I'm curious to find out. And one last thing. Have you ever watched a pro like Benji, Mongo, or Lechi and just thought, man, I wish I could be that good? All right, if you have, you're in luck because all three of these players have worked with us to create courses on ProGuys.com to help you guys all improve. And on top of all of this, guys, we have a ton of other courses from some of the most knowledgeable players in the game. On top of this, we offer 24-7 on-demand coaching to help you guys become a Fortnite legend. If any of this is awesome to you, all right, you got to head on over to ProGuys.com and get started today. Howdy, guys. It's about that time. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to sit back. Come on, relax, and grab some of my favorite candy. It's that bunch of crunch. Let's get this going. So anyway, let's get started on making you guys a box fighting god. All right, so the first technique is an insane trick that you can use when you have a ramp over your opponent. And it was popularized by none other than my boy, Clicks. This technique is going to give you guys essentially a free shot on your opponent, and they almost never know that you're going to use it. Even if you do, you know, they'll most likely have to flick across their screen to even have a chance of hitting you. To do this technique, as I said, you need to have a ramp over your opponent. Once you've got this ramp above them, take note of which side they're on, whether they're on your right or your left. If they're on the left, select the front right tile, and if they're on the right, select the front left tile. From here, and I mean like right here, simply move the edit back towards you to the side and back to form a spiral staircase. Your opponent should end up under your edit. Okay, so from here, simply just jump into the ramp on the opposite side of your opponent and confirm the edit. If you do the technique correctly, you're gonna have a handy little angle right on their face and it should be a pretty easy headshot. When you do this technique, just make sure to do it quick. If you take forever to do this edit, your opponent might be able to break out of the box or just start spraying your ramp. If you can pull this edit off consistently, oh my goodness, you're gonna find yourself destroying anyone who decides to jump into your box. Our second technique, guys, is super simple, yet really effective. This one is called the peanut butter peak, and is yet another technique that clicks made popular. This peak basically gives you an easy shot from above your opponent with little risk of being shot back. To set this technique up, all you have to do is place a cone inside of your box, right? And then edit a top right triangle into your wall by selecting the top right tile and the two connecting to it, just like this. Make sure you also have a floor piece above you to stop you from, you know, jumping too high. From here, and I mean like right here, simply make your way about to 80 to 90% to the left and jump up, shooting your opponent. The great thing about this peak is, you know, it's just really hardly exposes any of your body and pretty much any shots your opponent can hit will be very low damage. So take a look right here at the opponent's point of view, right? Note how the opponent has hardly any time to shoot back. Unless, you know, they're a 240 hertz PC player with godly reaction time, you know, it's just really unlikely that they're gonna hit you back. And even then, if you can use the technique quickly and intelligently, you can catch those types of players off guard. Okay, so another thing you can do, if you have the scroll wheel reset, is to simply do the triangle edit and do the same exact jump shot, but reset the wall the instant you shoot. You know, it might take a bit of practice to get the timing down, but this can reduce the chance of being hit back even further to the point where it's basically zero if done perfectly. This next technique made by Reddit user 1UpEcho is one of the best peaks in the entire game. To do this technique, all right, simply place a cone in your box and edit the front left tile up in front of a wall. If the wall is yours, then that's perfect. If not, okay, so quickly just replace it and just make it yours. From here, edit a window in the wall and you're gonna have this beautiful peak. 
You know, the reason why this is so great is not only because, you know, you can retreat back to cover and move around quickly, but also because your opponent basically can't see you at all. So take a look at this technique from the opponent's perspective. Note how you basically can't shoot them back. This is because the specific angle of this cone abuses the third person camera system along with the fact that your gun is always on your right side. So by doing this correctly, you're going to make your opponent pretty much unable to hit you back. Also, when you take the wall and edit the window, try to place a cone in your opponent's box as fast as possible so they can just edit down or build their own ramp for cover. If you do this all correctly, guys, the dumpling peak can be one of the most overpowered peaks and you're gonna be using it a bunch. All right, guys, next up, we're gonna be doing the wall steel shield. I like that name a lot, one of my favorite. Okay, so the wall steel shield is a classic technique we've seen used, you know, a ton in box fight wagers, and it's just really no wonder why. This technique basically gives you guys full cover while you try to take an opponent's wall. This technique is used by pretty much every single pro who does box fights, so we figured out it'd only be fair if we showed you this one as well. So to start, you wanna set up in front of your opponent's wall that they're trying to take and simply just place a ramp. From here, okay, edit the left side of the ramp backwards like you see on the screen. And position yourself under the half ramp you just edited. If you go all the way under the ramp, or you know, most of the way under at least, you're gonna have this handy little angle to shoot at the bottom part of the wall and replace it. So when you use this technique, just be careful, you know, of your opponent trying to just break your half ramp. Always have an open edit behind you or your own structures somewhere around you so you can just escape if they try to cycle you. The odds of this actually happening are pretty low, but it's always good just to be prepared. Now go steal those walls, man. You could do it. All right, so the half ramp guy peak is an amazing peak you can use when your opponent is just pressuring your box. Okay, so to perform this peak, simply place a ramp and edit the front right tile and drag it over to the front left. From here, edit either a right window or a top right triangle in the wall. Okay, so you're gonna have this handy little peek, right? When your opponent tries to break your ramp, you can just jump on them for an easy surprise shot or you can just head on toward the center or left side for an easy jump shot similar to the peanut butter peek, just a bit further back. From your opponent's perspective, they're gonna be really annoyed since they're pretty much able to just be shot <laughs> whenever they put pressure on your box. And once they finally actually manage to take your ramp away, you're in their face, man, hitting them with giant shots. Whichever way you do it, the half ramp guy peak is one of the most helpful peaks that you can use against W key players and really high skilled opponents. Okay, so I'm gonna be completely honest right here, guys. The Peanut Butter Mongo Classic is just a random name that I just came up with for this technique, but uh, I don't know if you like it or not. Is it a good one? Let me know. Well, anyways, this technique is basically a combination of the Mongo Classic and the Peanut Butter Edit. This technique will basically give you guys a free peanut butter shot on someone, even if they're set up in their own box and you're the one pressuring them. Isn't that fancy? All right, guys, so to start, simply place the cone below yourself before you take the wall. And from here, take the actual wall and immediately edit a top right triangle, just like we've done in a few other techniques. You know, without getting rid of your build menu, quickly place a cone in your opponent's box like this. This cone will basically make it so they're stuck. They can't edit downwards, and to actually edit one of their walls to escape, they have to turn their back to you. So from here, you already have a peanut butter edit set up, right? So you can just simply use it on them and, you know, toy with their wall a bit and, and even use some other techniques. This technique will basically give you guys control of your opponent's wall and make it so you pretty much run the entire fight. Your opponent is stuck in their box and you can do whatever you want. This one is absolutely crazy and I recommend practicing this and creative as much as you can. All right guys, so I hope you enjoy learning about these awesome box fighting techniques. Let us just quickly recap them so you can remember them going into your next box fight. Clix's spiral ramp edit is a super quick way to outplay and outmaneuver someone who's in your box and below your ramp. Use this whenever you want to get an easy high damage pump shot and an almost guaranteed kill in a box. The peanut butter peak shot is our second peak and it's one of the easiest ways to get shots on an opponent with little to no chance of return fire. Okay, so if you're on a mouse and keyboard, you can also do the same thing but reset your wall after you shoot, right? To reduce the chance of return fire even further. The dumpling peak is one of the most overpowered peaks right now. And, you know, just really abuses pretty much all the mechanics of peaking in Fortnite. You should definitely practice this one because it'll come really in handy during box fights. If you wanna cover yourself while taking a wall, simply edit a backwards ramp on the left side and go below it and use any of your weapons to shoot out of the wall and try to replace it from cover. This is called the wall steel shield and it's an OG technique pros have been using for ages, but it still works beautifully. All right, so the half ramp guy peak is one of the most versatile edits that you could do against the W keyer. 
It might take a little while to perfect it, but if you can do each of its peaks properly, you're gonna end up destroying people who decide to push your box. All right, guys, the last technique combines two of the most insane techniques, the peanut butter peak and the mongrel classic to form a quick, simple motion that you can just perform to get pretty much, well, an easy kill. If you do it correctly, that is, definitely try this technique, the peanut butter mongrel classic, guys, against anyone who decides to box up while fighting you. I hope you all enjoyed this video today. Enjoy using these insane peaks and, you know, techniques to outplay even some of the best players in box fights. Let us know down in the comments, you know, which trick in this video was your favorite, along with what you like to see next on this channel. And remember, my friends, remember that we read every single comment and we really consider every single idea and everything you say. If you enjoyed this video, we appreciate it a ton. If you drop a like, consider subscribing and also share with some of your friends. It would really, really help us out. And we'll see you next time.